the impacts that are caused by, by, by invasions can be ecological, economic, and health, can cause problems for the health. This must be kept. Ecological may be sometimes for the politicians are not very important. Ne never they would say that, but it's not important. But economic, even health, ah, if you want or two, one million die, ah, we can recover that, <laughs> they would say or they would think. But when <laughs> the problem is economic, as happened in, in Brazil with golden muscle, Brazil developed a lot the, the worry about control of invasive species. We will see we have a special law to control that here in Brazil. Even if we don't have an international law for that, Brazil became very worried about invasive species because the economic impact, mainly in our Itaipu hydroelectric power station, was being affected by this, this invasive species then. All the ministries in Brazil were very worried that we have to do something, we have to do something. Even the production, as I will talk later, of a book on invasive species or exotic species in Brazil, in marine environment in this case. Then, it's only to, to show that it's not only because Invasive species are important to know, but the problems that they can cause is, can be very serious. We have an example uh, in, between Argentina and the Paraguay of uh, another hydroelectric power station that we call Iacereta, that they have to stop it completely because the golden mussels blocked all the passage of water, all the flux of water, or, or, or the flow of water in, in the pipes to refrigerate the system. They, they have to stop the production of energy. Itaipu is very big. It's something huge. They have 20 uh, turbines uh, areas where they produce isolated uh, energy. They, they can stop one section to, to clean this one and the others are producing. Then it's very easy to control this problem in Taipu. But the small ones that we have a lot, not only in Sao Paulo, but in Paraná, Rio de Janeiro, in many other states, we, we have uh, companies very uh, well spread in our rivers producing energy and they are small if they attack if the mussels attack these, uh, these um, stations, we will have much more problem. Then I think Brazil became very interested in this subject. I will talk more about this later. Then, to control, we have to use a hierarchical approach. Prevention is the, the, the cheapest way to control that. Each step that we go become more difficult and much more expensive. Prevention, how to prevent the one species to come here or in our country or in our ecosystems. Yeah? How to avoid these uh, this, the presence of them here. In, in the case of ballast water that are, are, I am more involved, you could to control in some way the, the quality of this water. One thing interesting that uh, Mauro was uh, talking uh, about uh, uh, invasive species can be a contaminant, can be a kind of pollution. For biologists, we, 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 it's difficult to accept that uh, um, uh, invasive species or exotic species should be considered as a, as a kind of pollution. It's difficult for us to, 
to accept this. But in the definition of pollution, or in a, in a, in a more complete sense of, of what pollution is, a, a invasive species can be there, can be absorbed by, by the concept of pollution. Then, the law that we use in Brazil, the Navy as a maritime authority in Brazil, they can see clearly by invasion or exotic species as a kind of pollution and if the ships can bring this kind of pollution must be controlled by the maritime authority. I don't know if you have the idea about this. What can be a maritime authority in a country? This can vary from one country to another. In Brazil, is the Navy. We don't have a kind of coast guard as we have in the US and in many other countries. In Argentina and Uruguay, they have a Prefeitura Naval. It's not a Navy, it's a kind of coast guard. Then, sometimes, the, and the, they are very specialized to do this job, and the specific, is it? it is specific. But maritime authority can be the Ministry of Transport, because they take care of the, 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 the ships in the ports. Can be the Ports Authority, can be the, the Ministry of Environment, because is a maritime authority because the Ministry of Environment they have to take care of the, the, the pollution in the sea. Then this concept can be uh, changed in, in one country to another. The, 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 the authority to control this problem, this control of invasive species can be assumed by different um, organ institutions in the country. It is good to, to, to leave clear here that in Brazil is the Navy that can have this uh, whole role. Um, early detection and the rapid response is something that we should do, but the species is already there. Ah, eradication would be perfect if, if it was possible. It's very difficult to eradicate something. But if it's, it was done an early detection, we could rapidly try to eradicate. Because that prevention is easy, is, is, is the best procedure that we should give Early detection, we must be there looking for them to have a, a kind of monitoring, constant monitoring. It's not easy, but we must follow the places where this is more probable. The ports area are the points in any country where ballast water can bring species that we don't want. Then. Early detection is possible, but needs a constant monitoring. Eradication, if this is combined. Containment, in some way we should keep the, the, the invasive species in an area. How? Avoiding, uh, create or, or stop any uh, via any transport of these species to another place. In some way, you will see when I talk about the Brazilian law to control that, that to prevent the transport of golden mussel from Porto Alegre, where they are, to Amazon, where they are not there, or other, other hydrographic, hydrographic um, Basin. We, we should change the water 
putting ballast to, uh, salt water, marine water, in the ship between these, these uh, watersheds from Porto Alegre to Manaus. We have to go by ship to there. We have to cross the seas, the sea, the Atlantic Ocean. Not cross, but to, to go along the coast, a lot of marine water, salt water. Then we could, <laughs> following the Brazilian law, the ships must do that. They are obligated to do that. To control this is another thing. But it's written there, to leave, to, to, to ballast a ship in Porto Alegre, Lagoa dos Patos, in south of Brazil, and to go to any, any other watershed, a hydrographic basin in Brazil, as Amazon River, you must exchange the water, even one time can be done, with, because these places have fresh water. And then when you go, you must exchange the water or put in some salt water inside, exchanging a little, then this should be enough to kill the larvae of the, the mussels. Then this is the idea to, to contain a species in one place. One of the measures that you could use, one of the procedures that you could use. And the long-term control is something that you must do forever to try to, to establish ways to, to keep one species in, in one place. Not only in Brazil, but uh, we learned that from the, 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 the zebra mussel in, in US and Canada, some boats in the rivers must be uh, that they have to move from one lake to another to fish for different uh, reasons, for pleasure, for f fishing, to, to, to produce food and for the, the people. But this change of, of a lake to another must be controlled because you could get some uh, golden mussel or zebra mussel in one lake that there is no in another. Then to examine the boat, to see if there is plants or we have to wash the boat even uh, when, when you change the, 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 the lakes. This happened. This, this, this is what we, we could do. Thinking about that is, well, but this is not acceptable. But they do that. They do that with lorries, uh, uh, this very large um, transport in, in the, in the um, roads, the lorries. Uh, they wash all the tires all the, to prevent other disease that we have in Brazil also that can uh, kill the, the, the cows or any other animal. Then this is not absurd to wash a boat between lakes where they have to use the road to go.